Hi, I'm Taya Gherkin with Peghead Nation, and today I'd like to show you the range of Fishman Neo D sound hole pickups. Uh, I right now have the single coil version of the Neo D installed in my guitar. That's what you just heard me play through. And um, I also have the humbucking version of the pickup as well as the Neo Buster version of the pickup. So we'll start out talking about the three different designs a little bit, and then I'm going to show you how the single coil and the humbucker compare to one another. Okay, so the Neo D line of pickups is Fishman's entry level line of sound hole pickups. They use a magnetic design, and that is a design that's derived from Fishman's high end rare earth line of magnetic pickups. Um, so uh, they have a great foundation in that they use the same kind of neodymium magnets, um, but they use a passive design rather than the active design that the rare earth line of pickups uses. Now, these pickups are very affordable, uh, but they still use the same um, sort of basic design and housing that you find in the more expensive rare earth pickups. And that's a great thing because the clamping mechanism that this uh, type of pickup uses um, is something that's, that's shared by uh, sort of most um, higher end magnetic pickups. And it's really, in my opinion, the best way to install a magnetic pickup. Um, uh, it uses two screws. In, uh, in this case, they're Phillips heads on each side of the pickup, and there's a little clamp uh, that are um, padded with two pieces of cork so it doesn't damage the guitar. I was able to install this pickup uh, probably in two or three minutes in this guitar. Um, uh, I didn't even have to loosen the strings uh, to, to get it in there. And uh, these pickups come stock with a nine foot cable attached to them. So you can just install it and plug it right into an amp and, and be ready to go. If you wanted to do a permanent installation, um, you could, of course, uh, cut this cable, install a permanently mount end pin jack in your guitar, and you'd be ready to go as well. Now, um, I mentioned there are two fundamental uh, different designs. Uh, there's the humbucker, which I'm holding here, and the single coil, which I have installed in the guitar. Uh, the two pickups are exactly the same size. Uh, in this case, the single coil has the optional uh, uh, sort of wood colored uh, plastic covering, where the humbucker has the black one. Um, but uh, the humbucker uh, uses two stacked coils, and uh, that is of course the same kind of design that you would see on electric guitars where you have single coils uh, that would be more common on say Fender style guitars like a Strat or Telecaster or Humbucker um, that you would find more on Gibson style guitars. Now, um, a lot of acoustic players like the sound of a humbucker. Um, the main, the biggest advantage is of course that it is quieter. It's not as um, likely to, uh, to have hum. Um, uh, as a single coil would because the coils cancel each other out that way. Um, the humbucker also tends to have a little bit warmer, bassier sound, um, but the single coil um, gives you that kind of uh, sparkly high-end response uh, that a lot of people also really like. So the difference in these isn't quite as drastic as you would find, um, say, with a, a Telecaster and a Les Paul, uh, which would have single coils or humbucking pickups, but it's definitely noticeable. I'm going to come back to that in just a moment to actually show you the two pickups side by side. Now, I was actually surprised by how little hum I was getting playing with this uh, single coil and this guitar right here in our studio. I have studio lights going, I have uh, the cameras, I have the amp. So there's a lot of things that could cause uh, hum and noise, but uh, I was surprised that I was able to hear a little bit, uh, but not nearly as, uh, as much as I've heard with some single coil uh, guitar designs in a similar environment. So that was very encouraging. All the Neo-D pickups use a passive design. There's no battery. Uh, that means you can't run out of battery, of course. Uh, and it's very convenient that way. Um, I did notice that the output is a bit lower than on most typical active systems. I'm running into a Fishman Loudbox uh, mini amp here. And I definitely had to crank the uh, gain control up a little bit more than I'm used to uh, when I'm running active pickups through that same amp. But I still have plenty of uh, volume uh, left and, and headroom on the amp to uh, get good volume with nothing but one of those pickups. If you did need more gain, of course, you could run them through an external preamp, uh, but it's by no means uh, a necessary uh, uh, piece of equipment to run these through. So as I mentioned, the standard single coil and the humbucker share the same fundamental design, same size, same housing. Uh, the humbucker costs a little bit more, but both are still very much on the affordable spectrum of sound hole pickups. 
Now, the Neo Buster is a very cool idea in that it combines the humbucking pickup with a feedback buster. So you can just pop this right into your sound hole. Uh, and there are some adapter rings to make it uh, fit different sound hole sizes. And um, you don't even need a screwdriver with this. It just pops right in. And if you're playing at very high volume, say you're playing with a loud band, um, then this will not only be a great choice as a pickup, but having the feedback buster on there will allow you to play louder uh, before you start getting feedback. Now, magnetic pickups are already uh, sort of the least feedback prone pickups off the acoustic guitar uh, pickup spectrum. But having it built into a feedback buster will probably buy you a few more dBs of volume that you can use without uh, running into any problems. So that's a very cool choice if you're playing at really high volume levels. Now let me show you what the humbucker and single coil pickup sound like. Um, I can't get up to super high volume levels here in the studio, so I'm not going to show you the, uh, the Neo Buster, which sounds just like the humbucker except with a higher feedback threshold. But I'll show you what the single coil that you already heard uh, in the intro to this sounds like again, and then we'll also show you what the humbucker sounds like. So you can get a sense of, um, of how they compare. Okay, so those are the two Neo D pickup designs that Fishman is offering. Um, I really like both of them. Um, I think if I was playing fingerstyle and lower tunings, in this case I was down to a drop D, um, I might like the, uh, the nice warmth of the humbucker. Um, and uh, the single coil would really do well to cut through in a mix. Um, uh, so it sort of depends on your playing style and your, um, your playing situations a little bit and the style of music that you're playing. Is it a night and day difference? Not really, but it's enough to make most players uh, prefer one or the other, depending on their playing style and their playing situation. So I, I'd really recommend checking both of them out. And one of the nice things about these is you can actually go to a, a music store, pop these into a guitar, and listen to them in your own instrument, which is a really nice thing about magnetic pickups, especially ones that are as easy to install as these. So definitely check out these Neo-D sound hole pickups. Um, it's a great offering uh, that Fishman has come up with a uh, great entry into the magnetic pickup world. And uh, for some people who prefer a passive design, uh, this might be all you ever need to amplify your acoustic guitar. Very easy, uh, regardless of whether you do a temporary installation, such as what I have right now here with the sound with a cable hanging out the sound hole, or if you do a permanent installation with an output jack, which you should probably have um, a guitar tech do for you, but a very, very cool option for that as well. So my name is Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation. Um, I'll go out uh, showing you a little bit more about what the humbucking version uh, sounds like since I came in with the uh, uh, single coil. And I uh, hope you come back here for more of our gear demos. Again, my name is Taya Gurken. <laughs>